Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you are someone who enjoys talking about film, how about clicking on that subscribe button? So today we're gonna to be talking about David Fincher's newest Netflix film, Mink. So Mank is rated R. It is 2 hours and 11 minutes long. It was released on Netflix December the 4th. It is directed by David Fincher. It does star Gary Oldman as Herman J. Minkowitz or Mank. Lily Collins as Rita Alexander. Amanda Seyfried as Marion Davis. And Tom Burke as Orson Welles. So I do have company over so you may hear quite a bit of chit chat in the background, in the far background, maybe or maybe not. So Mank, you guys, is not going to be for everybody. I'm just gonna start this review officially by saying that it is not for everybody. This movie is definitely kind of like a passion project for Fincher. It's definitely more for the critics out there, for like the real critics. I'm not a real critic, you guys. I'm not even like a full-time like actual cinephile, to be honest with you. Like my friends and family might think like, oh my God, I see all these movies and stuff. No, you guys, no. I have not seen like half of whatever I should really be seeing to be considered like a real critic because a lot of the classics I have never seen like Citizen Kane. I will pause for the gas. Don't come at me. The reason I'm saying that is for those of you who may be watching this that don't know this movie is about the writer of Citizen Kane, the writer and director of Citizen Kane which would be Orson Welles. Of course it's known as like the best director most brilliant director because he was only like 24 years old when he did Citizen Kane and it's supposed to be one of like the biggest masterpiece kind of movies of course I cannot say for sure if it is we're, we're gonna go ahead and just say it is because that's what people are saying but I really can't put my two cents about how I feel about the movie I'm at one point maybe sometime next year I'll do like a first time watch of Citizen Kane this is gonna be for again the hardcore real movie buffs people who actually went to school i took one one film appreciation class in college you guys and it wasn't even a good one i think i may have dropped it to be honest with you because like we would go in there we would watch a movie and for them to like tell us how we're gonna break down this movie to really like learn what goes in a movie all we would see do is see the movie we would get a piece of paper that we would have to fill out and i'm just like this is gonna be for for those type of people this is gonna be somebody who loves citizen kane maybe you're not like a full film junkie but if you are a fan of citizen kane this is kind of like the behind the scenes of what went on if you are a fan of the 1930s 1940s like golden era of hollywood i think you're going to really enjoy the movie as well the movie is in black and white and i think it looks absolutely beautiful to be honest with you but i know a lot of people are not really into black and white movies it's really really hard to get through you guys it really is for me personally it was i can't speak for everybody i wanted to turn it off so many times you guys it's again it's a, a little over two hours long i don't know if i was supposed to watch citizen kane prior to this to understand it i did read that they do make a lot of citizen kane references within um the movie but basically we're just following mink who's played by gary oldman very wonderfully i mean yes, i really really did enjoy his performance now orson welles and mink actually won the oscar for best screenplay for that year for citizen kane and after this they never worked together again there's a lot of politics within the movie there is a lot of names being thrown out there that again i feel like if you are a fan of that particular era then you'll know there's really no explanation within the names it's like you're just supposed to know and i don't know so i didn't get it <laughs> amanda seyfried does an amazing performance as well um there's actually oscar talk for her there's a lot of oscar talk for this particular movie cinematography is great the screenplay itself is great directing of course great as well the opening sequence of the movie is really great honestly it does give you that really 30s uh, hollywood feel um with the credits and everything i know it sounds like i'm bashing the movie you guys i'm really really not but I just kind of want to pre-warn you if you did see the trailer and if it is something that might be intriguing to you. I know that this was like a very highly anticipated movie for a lot of people. Me personally, I wasn't. It wasn't one for me. I do feel like the average watcher is not going to enjoy this. It's not going to understand it. It's not going to appreciate it. I appreciated it for what it was, okay? I didn't love it but I appreciate it. I'm still gonna give it a medium popcorn. I get where they're going with it. I don't fully understand it. It didn't really keep me intrigued, but just, I'm, I'm, go I'm going more towards the look 
of the overall movie i guess that's where i'm going with my score would be the overall look i really don't think it deserves a small popcorn to be honest i really really don't and if i was a big time went to school to be a film critic i know the history i know how to decipher films like if i was like the real shit then i think it would have gotten a large popcorn i don't recommend this for everybody I, I I'm just gonna go with with that. I'm not recommending it for everybody. These are just my opinions You guys could just let me know down below. What did you love about the movie? Would it have benefited me if I had seen Citizen Kane prior to watching this particular movie? Again, I do plan on watching Citizen Kane and whenever I do I'm gonna try to remember because I may forget to incorporate maybe additional thoughts towards this particular movie We'll see what when I get to that point if you've seen I was about to say Citizen Kane. <laughs> if you've seen Mink, let me know down below. What did you guys think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Is it something that you were looking forward to, but maybe now changed your mind on it? Or, or you are more in enthusiastic to watch this movie it is again great to look at. It's beautiful, but this is just overall my take and my recommendation for you on this particular movie if it is something that you were maybe looking at because you are a fan of Gary Oldman, Lily Collins, Amanda Seyfried. Um, I know some people might just watch the movie because you know their favorite actors in there. Of course before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post something new. Till next time I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye!